Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of War Machines. So, last time, we started Heat G, where that set of 12 robots all made their debut and looked to provide that lasting first impression and claim one of 8 spots into tonight's semi-final episode. Those 8 robots were all determined, and there are quite a few big names in this one. Now, those 8 robots are going to fight it out bracket style, where the robot that manages to win 3 matchups will claim a spot in the grand final, while the next best couple of robots will all get spots in the last chance episode. So yeah, should be a fun night. Let's go ahead and quick review the bracket from the last episode. And here is the bracket that was revealed at the end of the last episode. So to kind of review the matchups we'll see in the first round, we got Minotaur and Whiplash over on the left side, Minotaur being one of the highest seeds in this bracket, while Whiplash, a big name who had to go through the redemption round after their opening round loss, that one should be an awesome showdown, like the one we saw in, in an actual season of BattleBots. Then right down below, we got two other solid robots who both had great performances in the last episode. Switchback and Deadblow will meet in the first round. Then on the right side, we got the most powerful flipper in the competition, as we saw in their first round matchup, with Blip is going to take on Brutus, who also had to go through the redemption round, but looked very strong in that fight. Then down below, we got a horizontal spinner battle between Perfect Phoenix and Annie Are You Okay, battle of two pretty destructive spinners. So yeah, this should be an awesome night. I think we're definitely, we're definitely going to see quite a few promising matchups here, and I'm excited to see what we get out of these robots. Quite a few major contenders here, so winning these three matchups is going to be no easy feat. But enough from me here, let's go ahead and start talking about our first matchup of the night. So the first matchup of the night features two big name BattleBots contenders, including a rematch from BattleBots 2019, or the second season that BattleBots was part of Discovery. We have Minotaur and Whiplash. So to start things off with Minotaur on the left side, who had a devastating KO, showing that the upgrades to that drum spinner and the frame of that robot really paid off, so they got a quick and easy KO over Saturn. However, Whiplash on the other hand, unexpectedly had to go through redemption rumbles after an early loss to Switchback, but then they bounced back with a solid and impressive victory over Earth Shovel and the Four Horsemen in their redemption rumble. So yeah, this is certainly going to be an interesting matchup right off the bat, because Minotaur had a very strong opening round match, and Whiplash definitely proved that while they took that loss in the early round, that robot is no slouch. They got quite a few big configurations for this season, stuff that they did not have last season, and they used those pretty well into effect in both of their matchups, so it'll be interesting to see what they come with for this fight with Minotaur. So. Yeah, Whiplash is definitely going to have to have a plan to be able to deflect that drum spinner and get some damaging shots of their own in, because I think that's going to be their key to victory. While Minotaur's strategy is certainly just going to be pick apart Whiplash piece by piece with that drum spinner. So, so yeah, I expect this is going to be an awesome showdown, just like what we saw when these two robots fought last time. And yeah, I think we should go ahead and get to this fight. Time for this match to begin. Looks like Whiplash went with two wedges for this match, hoping that that'll help them be able to absorb the impacts of Minotaur's drum spinner and scoop them up with the lifter and get some shots on the spinner. And so far, that's working out pretty well. They were able to outshove Minotaur, take them into the corner. But Whiplash tried to get a lift and just missed. Now Whiplash attacking the sides. Looks like they are faster and more maneuverable than Minotaur, so it'll be interesting to see how they use that. However, that drum spinner is getting quite a few shots in. I am already seeing quite a few pieces flying off, and I think a lot of them are whiplashes. And Minotaur attacking the underside, attacking the front, and there went part of that disc spinner on Whiplash. So Minotaur clearly winning these weapon-on-weapon -weapon exchanges, but... Do not underestimate Whiplash, though. Whiplash clearly a better control bot, the better driven robot, and trying to avoid that drum spinner, it looks like. But Minotaur is getting quite a few shots in, but it's Whiplash dictating the pace of the fight, doing a lot of the controlling. There went the rest of Whiplash's spinner. Whiplash now it's out one of their weapons. So now all they have are those two wedges, and 
most of that lifter. Minotaur has already chipped off pieces of the front of it. Now they're trying to go for those exposed wheels. That has always been Whiplash's primary weakness, those exposed wheels. And they're certainly going to be Minotaur's target in a fight like this. There went another piece of another wheel. Looks like they lost an entire front wheel now. This is big for Minotaur, who likes to chew on tires. Whiplash at the sides here, showing that they are not done yet, despite all the damage. So yeah, that's going to do it right there then. Minotaur KO. So right off the bat, Whiplash showed that they absolutely had the better drivetrain. The faster robot, the more maneuverable robots, and was able to control the fight pretty well with that lifter. But eventually that drum spinner just really got cooking on Minotaur and just started picking apart Whiplash piece by piece. It didn't really matter that Whiplash won the first exchange here because it was Minotaur dealing all the damaging shots. And then they eventually took control themselves, taking apart that front, taking out the weapon, taking out lots of the lifter, getting to those exposed wheels before getting to that in those internals and providing the finishing blow Great victory by Benatar, and can't wait to see what they do in the next round, and we'll see if it's Switchback or Deadblow they take on. And speaking of that, that's our next matchup. It's between Deadblow and Switchback, two Battlebots contenders, one Comedy Central, one Discovery Era. So on the left side we got Deadblow, who had a promising victory over Brutus in their opening round match, where they were able to use that speed, maneuverability, and that hammer to absolutely outdrive Brutus and land quite a few hammer shots, leading to, resulting in a pretty easy judges decision. They're up against Switchback, who put on a major show for us and an, a bit of an upset victory, knocking off Whiplash in the opening round by KO as well, showing that that egg beater is not one to underestimate, that's for sure. So yeah, I think this is going to come down to driving once again. Deadblow's strategy is probably going to be try to do the same thing they did last round. Try to use that speed and maneuverability to outdrive Switchback and land as many hammer shots as they can while avoiding taking damage from that egg beater. And then Switchback, on the other hand, they definitely became aware of Deadblow's speed if they saw that opening round matchup performance. So their strategy is probably going to be to try to keep their front pointed towards Deadblow as much as possible. Don't let Deadblow catch an inch and use that egg beater to cause as much damage as they can and maybe kill off some of those exposed wheels there. So there's a lot on the line here and what's on the line here is a fight with Minotaur in the next round. So yeah, pretty important here and whoever wins this one's gonna have a big matchup in the next round and a big opponent for them. So this should be really fun. I'm excited for this one. So I think we should go ahead and get to this fight and determine who will be facing Minotaur in the next round. Time for this match to begin. Deadblow, some fancy driving early on, looking to knock Switchback off balance. And already they've lost part of a wheel. Looks like that egg beater was able to get in and on get in and able to catch the sides and able to knock part of a wheel off there went some more pieces of, of looks like primarily dead blow and switchback fancy little backflip there in order to get out of the clutches of dead blow and now switchback going head on this is right where they want to be and as as we're seeing right now because there are lots of pieces already across the arena primarily pieces of dead blow it's like dead blow has already lost quite a few of those forks and looks like part of maybe a whole wheel right there and yeah the damage is really starting to stack up in favor of switchback here who's now coming in for more a couple more shots of the side from the back side and nice hammer shot by dead blow which knocks switchback off, off balance and into the corner and now dead blow trying to take advantage of that however though that hammer doesn't look so good i think i think definitely that weapon on weapon shot might have also damaged that hammer and now switchback a little bit backflip technique able to get out of there once again that hammer does not look good on dead blow looks like that weapon on weapon shot while it may have helped dead blow get control of switchback might have damaged their hammer in the process i don't think that hammer is going to be causing much damage anytime soon and 
yeah, trying to use the stick at times to continue to knock Switchback off balance, but I have to say that Switchback is probably still on top right now, primarily because of that damage factor. But Deadblow is definitely not far behind, but man, his damage is really starting to stack up in Switchback's favor here. Deadblow's definitely gonna need to come back in this last Knock minute. Out. Well, so Switchback, that egg beater is definitely, definitely proved to be a quite effective and quite destructive weapon. So Deadblow you were, was able to use some fancy driving quite often in this match to be able to constantly knock Switchback off balance, but it was that egg beater on Switchback that determined the outcome of the fight. They were able to get quite a few shots in and was able to pick apart dead blow piece by piece. They were able to take out some wheels. They were able to take out those forks. They were able to rip off a piece of the hammer there in that last replay, one of those last replays, and then eventually got to the internals to where they were able to get that control board KO and they will advance where they will take on Minotaur the next round and what a fight that should be. All right, so fight number three of this first round we have Annie Are You OK and Perfect Phoenix, a battle of horizontal spinners. Annie Are You OK from Bugglebots and Perfect Phoenix from Battlebots. So on the left side, we got, per we got Annie Are You OK, who had a solid victory over Avatar in their opening round matchup. Man, she dismantled that robot with that horizontal spinner, showing that that undercutter is just as deadly as it has ever been. Then their opponent is Perfect Phoenix, who had their first matchup in the last episode, taking on Earth Shovel, and did quite well in that match, showing that that horizontal bar spinner is not the only effective weapon on that robot, but that wedge is oddly effective too. So we'll have to see how all that comes into play. So, yeah, I think, I imagine any Are You Okay probably has the advantage right now, because that hor I think that undercutter has a lot more reach to it than what Perfect Phoenix has with that bar spinner. But Annie Are You Okay also has some exposed wheels that Perfect Phoenix is sure to be targeting. Plus that wedge I think could really come into play and could help deflect some of those blows that Annie Are You Okay could dish out. Either way, I think this is gonna be a really fun fight and I think whoever gets those first damaging shots in is probably gonna be the one to come out on top. And I expect we're gonna see probably quite a few parts flying in this match like what we've seen in the past two fights. So I'm all for it. Let's go ahead and get to this fight. Time for this match to begin. Perfect Phoenix charging right off the bat. Looks like they were going to box rush. Any are you okay? It's like they're serious about that horizontal spinner and they're not taking it lightly. Both spinners up to full speed. A lot of weapon on weapon action. After I have, I have to imagine any are you okay being inverted right now is favoring Perfect Phoenix. Because I think with Perfect Phoenix's height, any are you okay is going to have a little bit of a hard time connecting. However, we are seeing them connect with that horizontal spinner. And we are seeing some pieces flying off. I think they are pieces of any are you okay's front armor piece. So Perfect Phoenix definitely getting some damaging shots of their own and, and showing that they are winning this fight so far. That's for sure. So... Perfect Phoenix trying to go for some of those exposed wheels, but Andy R.U.K. has done a good job at keeping them away from Perfect Phoenix so far in this fight. We are a minute into this match, and oh my gosh, that might have been a huge turning point right there. It looked like Perfect Phoenix was winning lots of these exchanges, especially with lots of the pieces coming out, but that is a huge moment right there. That entire horizontal spinner is gone on Perfect Phoenix. So now, Perfect Phoenix without their primary weapon for the rest of this match, they'll have to use that wedge as a battering ram and try to break that horizontal spinner on any are you okay and at least control the matchup because I think they're better suited for it. But any are you okay with an active weapon here, they should be able to continue to do some damage as we've seen them do so far in this match. So I've seen some little pieces flying off gradually throughout this entire match. Some of them belong to Annie Are You Okay? Some of them belong to Perfect Phoenix outside that bar. And Perfect Phoenix inverting Annie Are You Okay once again, showing you that robot is not out yet. 
We are hitting the one minute mark in this fight. This has been a really back and forth fight. What a show stunner we are seeing right here. A couple more pieces flying off here. Very back and forth fight. An excellent showdown between these two robots. Can't believe we can only accept one of these two robots into the next round. This is awesome. This is what we certainly like to see. A couple more pieces coming off. Primarily Perfect Phoenixes right now. Showing that Andy, are you okay? Just continue to dish out the pain. And we see smoke coming out of Perfect Phoenix. And they are not moving right now. I wonder if that drive quit on Perfect Phoenix. It is looking like Andy, are you okay? Is going to come out of this fight with the knockout. And what a fight it was between those two robots. So yeah, that's the count out right there. And what a brawl this was between these two robots. We saw lots of weapon on weapon action. Perfect Phoenix got quite a few great shots in, taking out pieces of that front armor. But then, any are you okay? Eventually turned the fight around completely right there. Some weapon on weapon action that eventually took out that entire bar spinner on Perfect Phoenix, leaving Perfect Phoenix as just a wedge trying to control the fight. However, though, if you look closely, at some of these shots and some of these replays right here, you would notice that those little black pieces coming off of Perfect Phoenix, those are actually tires coming off of Perfect Phoenix right there. We had a couple wheels come out of that during that replay. Those are actually Perfect Phoenix's wheels. As Andy Are You Okay climbed the wedge of Perfect Phoenix, they are able to slice up those tires from the top, which cut down on Perfect Phoenix's mobility and led to the Andy Are You Okay victory. Great victory, and now we have our final matchup of the final four, which will determine NERUOK's next opponent. And it's between Blip and Brutus, two fellow BattleBot contenders. So on the left side, we got Blip, who proved that Flipper is an absolute menace of a weapon, and probably the most powerful Flipper we have seen in War Machine's history, with how well it handled the four horsemen in the opening round. Their opponent is Brutus, who had to go through the Redemption Rumble after our, after our opening round loss to Dead Blow. However, though, they really bounced back and proved that that vertical spinner is so deadly because they managed to win that Redemption Rumble in less than a minute, the fastest KO we've seen in the Redemption Rumbles so far. So pretty impressive feat that Brutus has set up. So we'll see how well they're able to apply that to this matchup with Blip. So Blip's strategy is almost certainly going to be just keep on flipping Brutus with the idea that the longer that Brutus is in the air, the less damage they're going to be able to do with that vertical spinner. And Brutus' strategy? Get underneath Blip and start landing some devastating shots with that spinner. We've seen nothing but spinners win so far, so is Blip going to suffer the same fate here? Because definitely Brutus has the advantage, the arena, and the fact that they have a spinner. So, yeah, we could absolutely see Brutus pull off something big here. And they definitely showed they are capable of doing so, as we saw there. But of course, never underestimate Blip as well. It'll be interesting to see, though, kind of before we get to this fight, how high Brutus ends up going. Because while Blip was able to give the Four Horsemen so much airtime, those that wasn't a full 250-pound robot. Those were 250 pound robots they were flipping. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is like. Anyway, I'll stop yapping and let's go ahead and go ahead and watch this fight. Let's get to this match. Time for this match to begin. Here we go. A little bit of fancy driving from both robots. Blip landing a flip, sending Brutus high into the air. However, Blip flip themselves. They're trying to self-right. Brutus, the first one to right themselves, and they're coming in with that vertical spinner. And they land a couple of shots right there. But what is this? Blip just lost that front left wheel in that exchange. Blip already down to three wheels, not even 30 seconds into this fight. And they are at the mercy of Brutus' spinner. Brutus getting underneath Blip easily right now. Looks like going head on not going so well for Blip. Blip's going to need to do something different because right now these head-on exchanges are favoring Brutus completely. Blip is stunned right now, but not out yet because that was a great flip and another huge flip from Blip. So Blip's going to need to change their driving game here in this one because 
definitely like that the first minute of this match brutus definitely easily on top a couple more nice shots from brutus and blip trying to self right and they do so here so brutus doing a good job upending blip and r limiting their flip usage here and now blip getting underneath lands a nice flip that sent that sends brutus high into the air and brutus laying a couple shots of their own with that vertical spinner that is a deadly vertical spinner we are seeing right here i did not expect brutus to get a wheel so early into this match but it is not slowing down blip they seem to be changing up their driving game in this fight and able to use that pretty well here and they were able to land a couple flips in response here and nice blip right there from Blip that sends Brutus high into the air. Crazy how Blip was constantly ceiling shotting the four horsemen. And they're still able to send Brutus so many feet up into the air. Despite that being a full 250 pound robot here. Crazy how powerful that flipper is. So now Brutus upended here. But they now just sent so far up into the air. Gotta imagine Blip is mounting a comeback right here. We got 45 seconds left to go. Nice flip from Blip once again. And certainly Brutus had the first minute of this match, but Blip is really starting to turn this fight around. But Brutus still managing to get some shots into their own. What a back and forth fight we are seeing here. This is an incredible showing from these two robots. What a fight we are seeing. 20 seconds left to go. I wish we could have three minutes more of this. Because this is awesome that we're, what we're seeing here. So, some more head-on action between these two robots. Flip trying to do some fancy driving. Trying to get around to the sides of Brutus. And now, Lil Flip right there from Blip. Now, Blip underneath again. Nice flip once again. And just realize the clock hit zero. So, we have a judge's decision here. And... All I gotta say is, I am glad I am not a judge, because this is gonna be a tough one to call. So, Blip definitely exposed a weakness of theirs. It's possible they could flip themselves. And when that happens, that left them very vulnerable to Brutus' spinner. So Brutus landed quite a few early shots, including even got a wheel on Blip very early in the match. But as soon as Blip changed up some of their driving tactics, they were able to turn a lot of that around and managed to land several awesome flips while also taking some more impacts from Brutus's vertical spinner. We have not had a lot of fights so far this season that were this back and forth between these two robots. And so I imagine this is going to be a really tough call for the judges to make. And yeah, I imagine the judging criteria probably favors Brutus a bit, but Blip mounted a heck of a comeback here, so... This is going to be a tough call, and I can't wait to hear what the judges had to say, because I hear they just turned them in. So anyway, speaking of that, the judges' votes are in, and unsurprisingly, we have a split decision. The winner is... Flip! So yeah... Very close judge decision. This is another fight where I wish we could have accepted both robots into the next round. Because that was an awesome fight. And certainly one of the most back and forth matchups that we ever had so far this season. This was an incredible showdown and I am not shocked at all that this fight was split. Disagreed with the judge's decision? Feel free to say something in the comments. Share your opinions. Share how you would have scored this matchup anyway. So... Yeah, it was an awesome fight regardless. Can't wait to see Blip in the next round where they will take on any Are You Okay? So, yeah. Now that Minotaur, Switchback, Blip, and any Are You Okay all won their first round matchups here, we now have the final four set up. So on the left side, we'll have a battle between two deadly spinners in Minotaur and Switchback. Then on the right side, we have Blip with their, with their nightmare kind of flipper who will be taking on a deadly horizontal spinner in Annie Are You Okay? Both of those should be really fun matchups. I'm excited for both of them. So let's go ahead and start talking about our first matchup of the top four. So for our first matchup of the top four, we have Minotaur and Switchback, two fellow BattleBots contenders, both bots 2-0 with two quite destructive victories over their opponents thus far. 
So on the left side, we got Minotaur, who's plowed their way through Saturn and Whiplash to get to this point. We'll be taking on Switchback, who managed to get past Whiplash and Dead Blow so far in their rookie season, nonetheless. So, yeah, Switchback's definitely been making a pretty big name for themselves so far this season, and they're they're proving it pretty. They're proving themselves pretty well here. So we'll see if they can pull off another upset and take out the Brazilian Bull. So, so yeah, both these robots are. Probably their strategies is probably going to be get the upper hand on their opponent as soon as possible and be able to use their drum spinner, or in Switchback's case, an egg beater, to do as much damage as possible and disable their opponent as quickly as possible. So, I ex regardless of who wins this, I expect we're going to see a lot of destruction. So, this is going to be a fun one, for sure, and I'm certainly looking forward to this and all for it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to this fight. Time for this match to begin. Bold spinners gain their weapons up to full speed. Meeting in the middle, Minotaur popping switch back up and already getting underneath of that drum spinner. Already seeing some pieces flying off, or primarily pieces of switch back most likely and certainly more bits and pieces flying off. Looks like some of it being some of those front forks on Switchback. Switchback using that articulation system to be able to get out of there and kind of get some breathing room. Now going to head on once again, it sure does not seem to be working out well for Switchback. And Switchback laying a top, sheet and top shot, and what's that right there? They got a wheel with that shot. So Switchback proving they're not only effective from head on, but they can also be effective from over the top behind them. And they were able to use that and they sniped a wheel on Minotaur. Minotaur now down to one wheel left in this fight. And we're only a minute in. However, Minotaur able to keep that drum spinner pointed at Switchback, who's coming in for more attacks. And Minotaur seems to be winning a lot of these exchanges. And I see another wheel just came off. Looks like this time it's one of Switchbacks. And Switchback also having lots of drive issues of their own. So we just got an action-packed first minute of this fight. Countdown on Minotaur, but Minotaur was able to demonstrate enough movement to avoid the count out. But wow, what a first minute that was. We have two robots who both lost a set of drive completely in that first minute. Countdown on Minotaur again, but they were able to get out of it. So, going along with the game here regarding movement rules, so if a robot is able to leave their own circumference, they can avoid a countdown. That is the rules for this competition. So, yeah, both robots limping. We have two wounded animals here in the arena, and I certainly don't blame them, because this was, this was a devastating first minute we saw from both of these robots. I gotta imagine Minotaur was ahead on the scorecard, but losing that wheel as early as they did certainly hindered them. However, Switchback being caught out, and Switchback was not able to show enough movement. They have been counted out. What a first minute of that fight that was. So, we saw a lot of head-on action, and that proved to be Switchback's big error in a fight like this. They were constantly going head-on with Minotaur, but it was Minotaur who was winning these head-on exchanges between these two robots. Gotta give Switchback a lot of credit though. They were able to survive and they definitely showed that they had a lot of power in them. Look at that shot right there. Attacking from the top, from behind like that. And they managed to get a wheel off Minotaur. What an incredibly played shot. However, Minotaur was not out yet. Switchback continued to go head on. Proceeded to take more damage from that drum spinner. Lost an entire side of drive of their own resulting in us having two wounded animals in the arena left. Switchback wasn't able to provide the kind of movement that Minotaur was, so they got tied out first, and Minotaur advanced. So yeah, that was an awesome showdown, and now we got these two robots about to determine who's going to be the second robot to enter tonight's final. Who's going to be the one to join Minotaur? Will it be Annie Are You Okay? who has looked very good so far this season with that undercutter with two really solid victories over Abattoir and Perfect Phoenix. Their opponent this time is Blip, who 
who is also gunning for that final spot with two two quite efficient victories. They had that dominant win over the Four Horsemen, and they had that potentially controversial victory over Brutus, where they had a very close judge's decision. But regardless of what, regardless of anybody's opinion on the decision from that, they definitely had a very solid. They definitely had a very solid performance in that match. Showed that flipper bot is that flipper is just so effective even against the large robots. So, what are these two robots' strategies for this match? Flip strategy is almost certainly just going to be quickly box rush any are you okay, prevent that undercard from getting up to full speed, and launch them as much as they can. Keep any are you okay as much in, uh, in the air as much as possible, and maybe by chance fall damage will really get to any are you okay. While any are you okay strategy is possibly going to be try to knock flip off balance as much as they can in this match and try to dish out as many damaging shots and maybe try to get to some of those wheels like what Brutus was able to do when they fought Blip in the last round. So so yeah, these are two robots who are having great seasons so far. And you're okay, didn't have a solid first two seasons. They're 2-0 so far this season. So certainly love to see it from that robot who's really having a bounce back season after the past two seasons, which didn't go so hot for them. So yeah, anyway, I think we should go ahead and determine who's going to be joining Minotaur in tonight's final. Let's go ahead and get to this fight. Time for this match to begin. Blip with a box rush right off the bat and lands a little lift, but accidentally flipped themselves. And now Anyori OK gets a shot into their own. And a huge flip right there from Blip, launching any are you okay who knows how many feet into the air and another flip from blip showing that that flipper is at full strength right now as it has been their previous two fights however they flip themselves right there and any are you okay getting a shot or two to the backside but blip so far seems to be unfazed from all the action a couple more flips right there from blip not quite as high as what we've seen so far maybe that flywheel isn't at full speed or something so maybe they want to take it easy well there was a nice flip right there sending any are you okay who knows how many feet into the air another awesome flip from blip so blip really showing us the power in that flipper and quite a few of those launches just able to knock any are you okay off balance however they are trying to self right and any are you okay hasn't really been able to take advantage of that very well so yeah, definitely any are you okay not taking advantage of flip, flipping themselves as well as Brutus did in the last round. That's something they're going to have to turn around here. We're a little over a minute into this match and Blip is definitely pretty easily on top right now because we haven't seen many damaging shots landed from that undercutter of Annie's. So, yeah, halfway through this match, Blip comfortably in the lead right now. But definitely don't count out Blip quite yet. Well, don't count any are you okay quite yet is what I meant to say because that horizontal spinner absolutely could score points in a heartbeat if they get the chance and they accomplish that task because we've seen that horizontal spinner and seen the kind of damage that that robot can do when they get the opportunity but blip has been denying them so far because any are you okay has been getting so many miles in the air it's the builder of any are you okay is from Australia uh, gotta imagine that they're getting, they've gotten quite a few air miles from this match alone that should help with the trip back. So, yeah, quite a few more great flips from Blip. Then any are you okay inverted? Tried to charge in there, but Blip was able to avoid that horizontal spinner. Excellent stuff on their part. We're hitting the 30 second mark right now. Blip certainly, certainly denying that undercutter from doing much. Any are you okay? Needs to have an answer and they need it fast here because the points are just continuing to rack up in Blip's favor for this fight. So 20 seconds left to go in this fight and Any are okay? Trying to charge in there but continuing to just get tossed time and time again. Another nice flip from Blip. And now NRK trying to get some action and flip, flip themselves once again. Five seconds left to go here. And that's going to do it. This fight is going to the judges. And I see Blip is missing a wheel at that front left. So, a last second piece of damage from NRK, but was it enough? 
for them to be able to take this fight from Blip and seal this victory. I'm not certain if it was, but we'll see, have to see what the judges have to say about this. Because the first two minutes, like, the first two and a half minutes of this match, it was pretty much all Blip. Well, NRK had a few moments in there, but definitely the fight was being dictated by that flipper from Blip, who is constantly launching NRK up into the air. Just look at all that air time that that horizontal spinner had got in this fight from Blip. So, definitely this shot right here, here, it was pretty, it was a solid showing right there, a solid last minute piece of damage that NRK was the cause, but was it enough? I don't know. But, yeah, the judges' scorecards are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Blip! Yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly what I was expecting right there, because I think Blip was dominant in this fight. Outside of those last 10 seconds and a couple moments in the match where Enyori OK get a decent shot with the undercutter, out, oh, yeah, pretty much from there, NRK just had nothing on Blip at least. It was pretty much just that flipper just constantly going to work. Definitely a real dominant victory from Blip. We'll see them in tonight's final where they will take on Minotaur. And what an exciting fight that should be. We'll see NRK in the third place match where they will take on Switchback. Which that should be another awesome showdown for sure. Great victory by Blip. And let's go ahead and quick review the bracket. So after Minotaur and Blip's victories in the top four, those two robots will meet where the winning robot will acquire a spot in this season's grand final. But before we get to that awesome showdown between two big name Balbot contenders, we have a third place match to settle. And I think we should go ahead and start talking about that match right now. So, this group's third place match features Annie Are You Okay and Switchback, two devastating spinners from two different robot combat competitions. So, on the left side, we got Annie Are You Okay. Started the season strong after two kind of rough seasons here at War Machines, with two devastating victories over Avatar and Perfect Phoenix, but then just got absolutely outmatched and outclassed by Blip in the last match and lost by a relatively distant judge's decision. However, they're not out yet because they got to get past their opponent, which is Switchback, coming back with that egg beater who dismantled Whiplash and Dead Blow, but then lost in a oddly close match against Minotaur right there, where they were able to prove that, that egg beater is absolutely a lethal weapon if it lights into the right areas of their opponents. So. Yeah, so we got a battle between two destructive spinners, one vertical and one horizontal spinner, and I imagine we're going to see lots of parts flying in this match, and I have doubt that this fight's going to go the full three minutes. So, I think whoever gets lots of those damaging shots in first between these two is probably going to be the one to come out on top in this one and claim a confirmed spot in the Last Chance series. However, though... However, though, both these robots have put together good resumes, so, so it's very possible that whoever loses this match could also get a spot in the last chance section. Could also get a lot spot in the last chance section. So a lot's on the line for this one, So, but it should be a fun fight either way. So I think we should go ahead and get to this showdown and determine who's going to be the one who's going to be for sure confirmed in the last chance section of this tournament. Let's get to this match. Time for this third place match to begin. Both bots getting their spinners up to speed. Now we get some head on action. A little weapon on weapon shot between these two bots. And Switchback tries to use that articulating spinners like a lifter. It ends up getting sent flying by Annie, are you okay? So lots of weapon on weapon action to start this one off. Quite a few pieces already flying off. I believe these are pieces primarily of switchbacks. So, Anyari OK doing a lot of the damage to start this one off. They have switchback off balance and they're continuing to come in with that undercutter, trying to cause more damage. A couple more pieces coming off. Looks like part of it might have actually been part of Anyari OK's front armor piece. Looks like switchback might have gotten to a couple 
armor pieces on the front. More weapon on weapon action, more pieces flying off. A lot of damage being caused by both robots here in the first minute. So, one minute into this fight, I imagine Anyoryoke okay is probably on top, but there's still a lot of time for Switchback to catch up on points here. And Switchback certainly has gotten quite a few good shots into their own. However, they are trapped in the corner, but Anyoryoke okay backed off, let them out of there so they can get that horizontal spin for speed. They are inverted right now. That seems to be helping them get a bit more fight, though, on Switchback. Lots of weapon on weapon action here between these two bots. However, though, Binary OK seems to be a little more off balance. That spinner looks a little shaky. I wonder if that spinner might have broke in one of those last couple exchanges. I wonder if they might have lost part of it or something. However, they seem to be driving fine, but the weapon doesn't seem to be hitting as hard as it was at the beginning of the match. It seems like as soon as it makes contact, the weapon is quickly coming to a halt. So I wonder if Switchback managed to damage Binary OK's spinner. However, they still are able to get the distance to be able to get that spin up to speed and be able to land a damaging shot. However, this is going to require them to get a bit more breathing room and distance, which they have been getting pretty easily because they've been doing a great job just knocking Switchback off balance. Lots more weapon on weapon action, more pieces flying off between these two robots. Less than a minute to go. This has been like an absolute bloodbath of a fight. So much destruction between these two robots and definitely a lot of chaos here and that's what we expect to see from from two major spinners in this group 30 seconds left to go in this match and certainly more weapon on weapon action gotta say that egg beater not looking so good on switchback looks like all that weapon on weapon action really took its toll on switchback it's almost like that damage that they took from minotaur's drum spinner might have been coming undone at least but Regardless though, what a fight this has been. Less than 10 seconds to go. It's looking like this third place match is going to a judge's decision. And there we go. This episode's been full of judge's decisions so far. I think this is number three so far. So, lots of weapon on weapon action as I was highly expecting to see between these two robots. And definitely a lot of destruction, which I was also really expecting to see robots. However, I was not expecting this fight to go the full three minutes. So we saw lots of weapon on weapon action, some of it favoring Andy Are You Okay, and others of it favoring Switchback. So that shot right there, we saw a piece of Andy Are You Okay's blade go flying off, leaving them with a damaged spinner, but still an effective weapon regardless, because they were still able to continue pulverizing Switchback for the rest of the fight. Switchback's egg beater just couldn't take all the punishment from any are you okay spinner. So any are you okay I think left this matchup with a much stronger weapon. And yeah, regardless, this should be an interesting judge's decision call. Let's go ahead and hear what the judges had to say. So the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is Any Are You Okay? So yeah, that's kind of the decision I was expecting to see, because I think any are you okay was doing a better job dictating the pace of the fight. It was able to knock off Switchback as much as they could, knock them, keep knocking them off balance, and that's certainly excellent control when it comes to in the eyes of the judges. So any are you okay will be confirmed a spot in the last chance episode after all the heats and semifinals are over. As for Switchback. We'll see if they end up in the top half of all the fourth place contenders. I imagine they very well could be, because they definitely have a powerful resume ahead of them. So, it'll be exciting to see, do they make it? But anyway, we have one last fight left to determine here, and it is between Blip and Minotaur, which is a fight for a grand final spot. So yeah, both these robots coming into this season, Blip is a rookie bot, Minotaur, this is their third time here, they're both 3-0 coming into this match. So Blip has shown that that flipper is like an absolutely lethal weapon and one of the most powerful flippers in the entire competition. Managing to absolutely toss around the four horsemen. Same thing with Brutus and last but not least, Andy, are you okay in their last fight? However, Minotaur coming in with an upgraded drum spinner, upgraded everything within that robot. And that's definitely really paid off for that. 
because that drum spinner has been an absolutely lethal weapon to Saturn, Whiplash, and Switchback, who all encountered it in their pathway towards this final. So, so yeah, we have two very different but very effective weapons here in this final. So, I'm excited for this one. So, both these robots probably going to be about the same strategy as what they've used in pretty much all three of their fights so far. Blip trying to launch their opponent as much as they can, while Minotaur trying to destroy their opponents with that drum spinner as much as possible before their opponents can get to them, basically. So, so yeah, I'm excited for this final. We have two huge names and battle bots here for this final, so this should be an awesome one. And these two have both looked great so far this season, so... I definitely imagine whoever wins this fight is certainly going to make a, could make a big run with it for the title. And then the other one, whoever makes it to that last chance episode will have a serious shot at getting one of those extra grand final spots. So I'm really excited for this. Let's go ahead and get to this match. Time for this final to begin. Blip coming in, Minotaur as well, getting that drum spinner to speed, and Blip launches Minotaur all the way over to the corner of the arena. However, that drum spinner getting to full speed, and Minotaur laying a couple shots of their own to the sides and the underside of Blip. Blip with a little flip right there, knocking Minotaur off balance. Now they have Minotaur from the backside, Minotaur trying to get some breathing room, trying to point that drum spinner at Blip, and they get a shot of the shot to the underside. But now Blip trying to do a little fancy drive and get to the size of Minotaur. Try to avoid that drum spinner. Little flip right there from Blip once again. Blip trying to charge in with that flipper once again. Little lift once again. Not the kind of power we've seen from Blip so far. But yeah. So a little, little less than a minute into this fight. Been a pretty back and forth fight between these two so far. A couple of beautiful flips landed by Blip. That sends the Brazilian bull into the air. And now Minotaur charging in there. And they take a wheel off of Blip. Blip just lost that back right tire after that. That Minotaur took advantage of Blip flipping themselves once again. Definitely a weakness that definitely some teams start to take into consideration when handling Blip. So a couple more shots. Minotaur seems to like going head on with Blip. Because they seem to be able to use the reach of that drum spinner to get underneath Blip. Managed to pick apart those wedgelets on the front of Blip. A couple more nice lifts from Blip. Who's definitely going to need to do something here. Because definitely Minotaur is starting to do some damage to that drum spinner. However, it is possible Blip might still be in the lead. Because they've been doing a great job landing a bunch of flips. Knocking Minotaur off balance and restricting the amount of damage that they could take from Minotaur's drum spinner. They flip Minotaur over again, and Minotaur is able to use those gyroscopic forces to self-right, something that's been very helpful in this campaign for Minotaur, who's back on the attack once again here. So, Minotaur going head-on once again, attacking the front. There go a couple forks on Blip! So Minotaur really starting to dish out more pain to that flipper bot, and another Wedgelet taken off, but Blip manages to invert Minotaur once again. But now Minotaur back right side up, charging in once again. More head on action, another wheel comes off of Blip. And now Minotaur back on the attack once again. That front is getting torn apart by Blip, by that drum spinner. And down goes the control board. Minotaur knockout. What a final we got from these two robots. Blip starting it off with a fury of flips, including that one right there. But then it was eventually that drum spinner that started to eventually start to dictate the pace of the match and start to dish out some more serious damage to Blip. However, Blip definitely made this a really back and forth final between these two robots. This victory certainly did not come easy for Minotaur, who definitely was under fear the fury of Blip's flipper for a lot of this match, who was and Blip was able to constantly knock them off balance. But then eventually Minotaur really started picking apart the front, picked apart lots of those wedgelets. They got to multiple wheels on that robot, and then eventually got to some of those juicy internals, and from there were able to disable Blip 
and confirm their spot in this season's grand final. Great victory by Minotaur for sure. So yeah, to review this episode here, Minotaur, who has officially won three matchups within this bracket, will have officially claimed their spot in the grand final. It was well deserved by that robot, showing that lots of those upgrades they made to that robot coming into this season definitely really paid off for that robot. But certainly we got some big names who are going to be absolute forces to be reckoned with coming into that last chance section. Because Blip has certainly been looking better than ever when it comes to that flipper. Then Annie Are You Okay also will be confirmed going to there and definitely has a lot of momentum on their side after multiple solid performances. Then we also got Switchback, who isn't confirmed yet, but has had a decent resume and quite a few great fights to their name. So, yeah, anyway, that's going to go ahead and do it for this group. So, next time we will start Heat. Age, where we will see several big name returners return back to the arena for another season of War Machines, as well as some rookies who are pretty big names and battle bots making their debut. Then we also have a War Machine Season 2 champion, but not the defending champion of this class, who will be making its emergence here, as well as a top 8 finisher from the last season. So I'm really excited for this and excited to see what the next episode holds for. So, thanks for watching anyway. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as usual to check out future episodes. Be sure to tune in next time where we will start that group where several more exciting fights and several more promising robots are going to make their debut. So it should all be a lot of fun. So, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye all!